All right. I'm getting the heart of this ornate garden that's coming through over and over, walking these paths, walking these trails. There's also a mosaic going through this garden over and over and over. Where are you walking through? This is a really sobering one. This is... um where the fight's gone bad and the garden is there and where the final resting place is for a lot of children's bones. It's not quite as creepy as it sounds, but it used to not be that there was cemeteries for places. And so there's this one os oscillary bones place is the image coming to mind. It's these children's bones. There was a lot of um, death that happened during this time frame, And I think that you were somebody that attended to the bones or buried the bones. I want to look a little deeper. I think you may have been male in this lifetime. Okay. There's a certain garden spot. It's like you've made a sacred garden spot, monument space for where these young ones would be. I don't know what The weight of the mother's rest heavy on you. You're a man in this life, but the weight of the mother's all around you. It's like you hear the tears for them, the wailing, the wailing, the crying, the weight of the mother's weighs so heavy on you. It's mothers, 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 and their children, and their children are gone, gone, gone. And you see this need for this space to be that it isn't there. There's a huge amount of illness that has come through. Um, you have a tender, tender heart. This is something that I think you're older in your years where we're tuning in here. Like this isn't a young man doing this. This is a middle-aged man doing this, setting this up, younger in the heart. Understanding everything has been broken and lost for these women. It's like it's taken the life out of them to have their children lost. I don't know what it was that took the children. It feels like a, some kind of um, pneumonia, cold lung. We're getting, we're getting winter. We're getting sacrifice, winter sacrifice. It's like a really, really hard, hard winter that left everybody just bones and bags of bones. And there was not good, difficult, difficult times. So much grieving. There was something that was just utterly devastated and it took out a lot of young kids. A lot of young kids. And they needed a space. You were, you were so torn up by seeing this. It was too much. It was too much for the community. It was too much for everyone there. And you could see this. I hate winter. You might hate winter for the rest of your life, the rest of your next life, the rest of your next life, the rest of your next life. This feels like... Um, some kind of crazy, cold, cold-ass winter that just wrecked through the town. You wanted them to have something to hold on to. They had nothing to hold on to. Some of you, even the young mothers, were lost in this particular thing. I don't know what happened. Spring, spring comes eventually, but not for quite some time. It's like the winter goes and grabs on early and it holds on extra long. And so there's no real, um, it's like a winter that should have been like four or five months is about a seven month winter. Holds on extra long, it takes an extra hard toll. 
breaks a lot of things, throws down whatever was building in the community. Like, it, it did the community in. It pretty much robbed almost every family. Every family was touched by this in some way or another. Ugh. You're trying to help remind people that they will get through it through the hard time. You're trying to help them remember survival. You're trying to help them remember that this horrible thing that has happened is not the end of the world, that they still have to go on living and surviving, but it feels like hollow words. It feels like Mother Nature, or call it what you will, something has played a horrible trick. There comes a time when the season changes and you start having people looking for the birds of spring. There's um, ceremony going on. This feels like this could be, um, I don't know how to describe it. It feels like it could be Indian. I don't know if it's Native American Indian. I don't know if it's Upper Higher Canada. I don't know what it would have been there. But that's what it feels like. It's, it's higher than, like if you look at the U.S.-Canada borderline, it's higher than that as far as what are the lat latitudes, longitudes, what are the fucks? Okay. You try to engage in all kinds of anything that would be entertaining or silly to help get these people, break them free of what feels like this winter, 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 winter. And nothing is working. You need a monument. There's stories that are invented. People are feeling very, very cursed, like they are actually literally cursed because of what's happened. You need a monument. You build this garden, and I think you also build a grove nearby this. There's there's gonna be a grove. Uh, it's like where, where, where all these kids are at. It's so sad. All these kids are at there, and it's, um, they shouldn't have died so young. Of course it's so, such a big heartache. You build a garden and a grove going on there. And it's your work to make this make sense, to make a monument to make it make sense. You try to get people's attention, let them know that this has happened, let them know that this needs marked out, let them know that this is a road and a garden and it's This could be somewhere near an ocean town somehow. Even though it's north, it could be near an ocean town. Like, I don't know if that's a Nova Scotia place or something like that. I have no idea. But there's something that needs built there. And it's like, you're trying to inspire others to do the right thing, but nobody seems to be able to shake off the funk. They're just seeing what they've lost, seeing what they've lost, seeing what they've lost, seeing what they've lost. Everybody's affected. Everybody's affected from this. And the trees have become so brittle they break. Here they are. The trees won't take root in this grove very easily. It's difficult to get through the earth because it was so frozen. But you still have this garden, so all you can do for this first year out is plan, 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 and decide that you're going to start making this monument. Plan, plan, plan. Other people start to see the value in this plan. They really do start to see it, but it's going to take some time. They go on about the business, the work of life continues, and this gets forgotten for a period. Gets forgotten for a long time. There's a young girl who's gonna get married. She is one that um, would be a younger sister conceived after some of these children had died so her older sister would have been of marrying age and the younger sister conceived later is about to get married it takes that long that's a long time so we're talking it's probably taken 20 years to really get this going you know we're talking well maybe not 20 
but quite a long time. So what I'm getting is this happens this one particular horrid winter. All the kids, not all of them, but a lot of them have passed over. And this one couple or the couple that you know, they're a marker of time. They have another daughter. She's born, she's getting ready to marry. And this is when it finally starts to heal. That's like a whole generation of way too much sad, way too much sorrow. Sheesh. There is celebration. New life is returning to this. This place is celebration that's coming. Finally, it feels like the the water gods or whatever are appeased is how you see it. Finally, it feels like there will be time again. Whatever they take from you, they've taken from you with the kids. They've taken enough. And finally, it feels like they finally had every ounce of joy that they could wring out of the situation and people are ready to move forward, not because they haven't mourned, but because they've been stuck in perpetual mourning. Like to the point of madness and craziness on some of them. This big wedding though, this one couple that had the young girl, where did she go? There she is. This is, this is pivotal for the town. This, this one girl is almost like um, emblematic or the, what do they call it? Almost like the mascot of survival for the town, even though she wasn't even conceived yet. It's like life must move forward. Fevers come through again. Now this is fevers that break out and come through and it's affecting kids again. There, there's big worry. There's somebody that has power and wealth to offer some kind of solution that helps this. This fever comes through again, but there's somebody that has the gift that is able to break it, to cut through. There's a plan that's been made. I think people are more aware of how not to spread, but really crazy. The fever breaks. The, the gift of the offering of figuring out what it is that helps this I don't know what it is, but it does help. The The trees in the grove that are supposed to be growing have been a little bit weird, and people are getting freaked out. They're, they're like, well, the, the earth is really weird. It's a little bit cursed, but it's not cursed. The trees in that grove are helpful. They're like, um, whatever's in those trees is medicine is helpful. It's almost like, a, I don't know if it's a willow bark or what. I don't know trees well enough to tell you. But there's something in those trees that is helpful healing for this fever thing. Fate finally turns. And yes, yes, it, it turns towards the good. It rebalances. People are finally happy. There is medicine in whatever that is. Whatever grows in that grove has medicinal value that helps with this. And I don't know what that's about. There's no way anyone would have foreseen it. It's not like you were like super dude extraordinaire you planted something in this grove in this garden to honor those it took a long long time for those to grow 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 but it was helpful it's almost like you didn't know what you were doing but accidentally helped prevent that from going off the rails the next time something about this was huge and it created sweetness to come out of there because you took the time you had the knowledge to do it my grandmother used tree roots in her own medicine not surprising. There's a wisdom and a knowledge also of whatever it is that the birds are doing in the trees you're paying attention to. There's there's something that like you pay close attention to that at a time where people didn't generally do that. Anything else? The way of honoring this event, this loss, helps save the ones in the future, which is great. But you've gotten old and you're tired now. You want to be laid down by the river somewhere by the water. I don't, I guess maybe more towards the ocean because I think it's an ocean town. I don't know if there's a river running through there or not. But you want to be by the water.
there's somebody that's really sad that they see that you are losing your health. They can see that you want to go your own way. They're convincing you to stay. Every bird is needed is what's being told to you. Every bird is needed. Not just the ones at this time of year or that time of year. Every bird is needed. It's like you feel like you've outlived whatever is your purpose and you want to, you'd rather like, you know how people used to go off on the ice float or something. That kind of was what your thought was. You didn't want to have death darken anything in this town again, particularly not your own death. You'd rather not have that be the case. But they're like, no, no, no. They want you to stay. There's big, huge love for you in this town. Huge, huge love for you in this town. You stay there, and you stay there a bit longer. There's wisdom that comes through just by the doing of what you did when the practical need was there and honoring of the earth. That, that, that is always going to be a place that is going to be very, very sacred because it was made so because of what you did. The sacredness of the space, the reason the things happened, what was learned from the experience is written down and it's carried forward. There, there's a space that was where it was pretty much just death, death, death that you made sacred because of your devotion to honoring those who had gone before. It wasn't commonly done, but they couldn't have just been forgotten. And because you did what you did, it did cause things to turn around. It took a long time. But it caused things to turn around. It saved the lives of others down the track because of what you did. I am the earth sign. Yeah, there's a big monument. There's a, somehow a bird monument nearby where, where um, this is. I don't know what that's about. Definitely bird monument. We're getting the owls and ravens, and I would think it would be more about the owls, but I don't know for sure. It just feels like complete the bird monument. That's what I got. That's wild. That was a sad one. Golly. Yeah, that's what comes through.